OK, so a sprinter runs a race of 200 metres. And the race lasts 25 seconds. So that's how long it takes the runner to finish the race. Now, for the first four seconds, OK, they accelerate uniformly up to a speed of 9 metres per second. And then for the next 16 seconds, they maintain a speed of 9 metres per second. And then in the final five seconds, they decelerate uniformly from nine meters per second to u meters per second. u is an unknown here. Firstly, we need to calculate the distance covered by the sprinter in the first 20 seconds. Now, the distance in a speed time graph is the area under the graph, the area between the graph and the X axis. Okay, so effectively we're looking for the area of this trapezium. So we're going to have the area of this trapezium. Now you can either cut it up into a triangle, right angle triangle, and a rectangle, or you can use the area of a trapezium um, formula. So area of a trapezium formula, so area is equal to one half times h the height of the trapezium, which will be 9, times by the sum of the um, of these edges, sorry, of the that edge there and that edge there. So we've got 16 plus 20. Okay, because we're just finding it up to that 20 point. So, 1 half times 9 times 16 plus 20 is 162. So it's 162 metres. Now, of course, because, you know, if you haven't uh, met this before, this kind of speed time graph and then finding the distance, um, the real reason for this is that, in fact, if you just look at the units, the area is found by multiplying the speed effectively by time. So you have metres per second times by seconds. Now s to the minus 1 times s to the 1 is just going to be 1. And so that just leaves you with m, so metres. So finding the area just leaves you with a distance okay, in the, in the given units. So they cover 162 metres in the first 20 seconds. Now we need to find the value of u. So what we have here is that we know that the sprinter runs a race of 200 metres. So if this part of it, if that covers the first 162 metres, then we have 38 metres remaining for the area of this trapezium. So 38 is, must be the area of another trapezium where the height this time is effectively the width because it's on its side now, and that's 5, times by the height here of 20 plus, not 20, sorry, it's not the height there, it's 9, plus height of that side, which is u. So I need to reorganise this equation. So 38 times both sides by 2, divide both sides by 5, we get 15.2 is equal to 9 plus u. And then just take the 9 from both sides. So u must be 6.2. So they end up at 6.2 metres per second. And then finally, we need to find the deceleration of the sprinter in the last five seconds. Now the deceleration will be the gradient of that line there. OK, that, that chord. So if you think of this as the coordinate 25, 6.2, and this is the coordinate 29, then we can work out the gradient, OK, which we'll call M. Actually, probably best not call it M. Let's call it, um, let's call it A for the acceleration, because that's what we're trying to find here. So because it, we're writing it as an acceleration, should be negative, hence deceleration. So it will be the gradient of this. So the difference in the y's divided by the difference in the x's. 
Okay, so we've got 9 take away 6.2 in the numerator divided by 20 minus 25 in the denominator. So we get minus 14 over 25. So minus 0.56 meters per second per second. Okay, so that is the acceleration. So the deceleration of 0.56 meters per second per second. Okay, and so that is how you can solve a problem that utilizes the coordinate geometry techniques that we've seen currently, but in a mechanical setting, so in a, in a context setting, and this is something that we would usually see come up in the mechanics section.